In this gallery, there's um, three works, a major sculptural installation called The Dawn Line, which is part of a larger series called The Infinite Line, where I tried to take that idea of drawing the universe and make it literal. I worked with a team of architects, um, Ben Aranda and Chris Lash, physicists, Neil Turok and Paul Steinhardt, and engineers from Arab and Advanced Geometry Group with Daniel Bozia. And we built this piece so that every single block in it can support the entire structure because it's really a model of how the universe fits together and every part of the universe has to be able to support every other part of the universe. There's no gaps. So we invented um, an a new kind of architectural system that has no gaps in it. Essentially this thing is a, a proliferating quasi-crystal uh, which follows this kind of tiling pattern and instead of moving up and down and across like a conventional building structure this, like the universe itself, can grow in multiple directions. So theoretically, this piece could grow and grow and grow. The largest one we've done is the size of a building and contained multiple sound works inside it. Uh, it was presented in Venice, Istanbul, uh, Vienna, and Sevilla. Um, but this is a smaller version, uh, kind of more easily transported. And the team at the Frist here um, had a lot of fun putting it together because about halfway through they were like, how does it fit together? And I was like, how do you think it fits together? And they started just adding the pieces where they thought they would look good, which is sort of another way of saying that part of our job and my job looking at the universe is making the universe look good. And one of the things that this piece does is sort of show you this kind of line of force. So as you wander through the piece, you'll see these lines. Those lines are there because they actually support the structure itself. When we were building this piece, I did a series of drawings that were wrapped around this shape. It's called a truncated tetrahedron. And then we sent them to the engineers, and the engineers said, well, this thing's gonna collapse if, we, if these lines are so this, so that you have to make all the things. So then I would redraw them. And then I would send them back to the engineers, and they would say, still not right. So I think we did that about 40 times. So I hand drew every diagram on the surface here. Um, so that it's, as well as being a, a drawing of the universe, and these are kind of the shapes that you'll see in many of the paintings, these kind of whirlpool maelstrom shapes. It's also actually functions like the universe in that the universe has many lines of force traveling through it that are holding the whole thing together. So it's very literally a kind of cosmic building block system, like cosmic Lego.